So, uh, without further ado, make some noise for Derek Murray! Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. This is, uh, this is cool, man. Give it up for all the artists you guys have seen so far. For real, that was some good shit, man. I love it. It's very weird to do comedy in a rap show. Like, that's just, nothing pumps the brakes faster than, like, great rap. And then, like, hey, uh, jokes? Anybody jokes? And then I, I like that he was like, he's like, all right, cool. I'm, he's, like, getting his shit in. And then they're like, all right, cool. Comedy's coming up next. Can we get the pool table going? Can we just, can we get that shit started? Uh, we can tune out for a good 10 minutes. That'll be great. Uh, no, you guys are great. I'm, I'm really excited to be here. This is a lot of fun, guys. Uh, I love hip-hop. I'm such a big fan. I, hip-hop is amazing. Uh, I can't download hip-hop music anymore, though. Uh, not because I have a problem with pirating free music. I don't give a shit about that. Uh, but I can't download hip-hop any, anymore because I can't stand getting that bad MP3 where the DJ shamelessly promotes himself over the chorus. Who's ever get that? Like, as soon as you download it, like, right when the chorus hits, you get that DJ K Slay, 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 Street Sweepers, <laughs> new album in stores. That is the only kind of music that happens in. You never download a country song and hear someone like, yeah, Grandpa and Pappy. <laughs> Own the fiddle. <laughs> new album in stores. Yeah, I love hip hop though. I like old school hip hop. I feel like I feel like hip hop today has just gotten dumber and dumber, right? Like even our dancing is stupid. Like it started out with the Soldier Boy, which is just the Black Macarena. They had another one, which is the Dougie, which is just a really cool way to put gel in your hair. You just you're messing with my Dougie. La looks, bitch. <laughs> Not a dance. Craziest one I've seen though. The craziest one I've seen is the Cat Daddy. Y'all know, y'all know where the cat daddy is, right? I'm gonna demonstrate the cat daddy for you if you guys don't know. This is the cat daddy, this is the dance, I swear to God. That is a dance, people do that shit in clubs. The first time I saw that, I was like, dude, people in wheelchairs must be amazing at the cat daddy. <laughs> Tell me you don't wanna go to a club and you see some dude in a wheelchair just rolling when the cat daddy comes on. Just pops a wheelie, he's like, stand back, usher, I got this shit. Even our hip hop lyrics are stupid. Like one of my favorite songs out last year was a song called Mercy. I love the beat, the song goes super hard, Kanye produced it great. Uh, but this dude Big Sean gets on, and at the end of his verse, he goes, getting blown, Californication, I give her that D, cause that's what's born and raised in. Now I can only assume that give her that D means I'm gonna give her that dick. But if that's what you mean, that means you were born and raised to give someone dick. That means when you came home in high school and you were like, Mom, I met this really great girl. She's like, did you give her the D, baby? <laughs> Giving the D for generations. <laughs> Raise your last right. <laughs> I love it, Bob, man. Any, uh, any Latinas in here? Any Latinas in the house? <laughs> I like how he raised his hand like, yes, uh, the answer is A. <laughs> I love Latinas. Y'all are my favorite girls to date. I love, my last four ex-girlfriends were all Latina. No kids, guys. Yes. That is a success story. But that's fucking playing the lottery every time you have sex and winning. It's great. My last girlfriend was Latina, and she hated condoms, but didn't want kids. I was like, you can't be one of the most fertile races on the planet and not be down with Rid for her pleasure. Pulling out didn't work in Afghanistan, it's not gonna work in Mexico. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like social media has made breaking up really difficult. Remember when you could break up with someone and you never had to see them? You could just pretend they died and everything was cool. But now with social media, the first thing you see when you log on to Twitter is a tweet from your ex going, oh my God, my life is amazing, hashtag awesome. You ever see your ex shortly after a breakup and you're never quite sure whether you want to punch them or fuck them? 
I'm just kidding. I had a guy to show y'all out one time. He was like, do both. I was like, I guess it's not really domestic violence if she squirts when you choke her. I'm a big fan of social media, guys. I love social media. I love, uh, I love Facebook. I think Facebook is great. Uh, I do feel like Facebook has made us the laziest generation ever. At, right, everybody wants to be a social activist, as long as it doesn't require doing anything at all. Think about every social issue that came up. Homosexual equality, Trayvon Martin, the war in Syria. What did we do? We changed our profile picture. That's it, that's all we did. What if all of American history was decided by our generation? Rosa Parks just changes her profile picture to a front seat, like, we're still in the back, but Facebook's gonna make a difference. Let's get some chain picture of Martin Luther King. It's like, if this picture gets a million likes, I'll tell you about this really cool dream I had. You guys are fun, man, this is good. I, uh, I can't let my girlfriends uh, hook me up with their friends anymore. Because uh, first of all, it's never any of the hot friends that I've met. It's always the one ugly friend none of us ever knew you had. And ladies, you always try to do like a hard sell. Every woman in here has done the, okay, she's really pretty. Okay, well, I think she's really pretty. <laughs> I figured out your code, ladies. What you tell me is not what I hear. So when you come to me and you're like, okay, listen, she's got huge boobs, that means she's fat. <laughs> she's got a great personality, that means she's ugly. You guys are totally gonna get along. That means you think I'm ugly, this is bullshit. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the UFC, I love the UFC. Uh, I think it's great, yeah man, I love it. I got to go to the UFC uh, a couple months ago and on the prelims, there was a fighter whose entrance music was Justin Bieber. I need you guys to imagine a UFC fighter standing in the entrance hall, ready to just go beat someone down, and he's just whoo, 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 behind me here. Baby, 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 oh. As I'm not above guilty pleasures, all right? I can do some bicep curls to Miley Cyrus, but I have never been so pumped up by a Justin Bieber song that I just want to go knock someone out. And the craziest part about it is he knocked the dude out. <laughs> so not only did this guy get knocked out, but he got knocked out by some guy singing in his head, it's gonna be one less lonely girl. And I thought about it and I was like, dude, that guy should just sing Justin Bieber songs every single time he fights. Cause if he's in the ring and he's just jabbing and he's like, I just need somebody to love. He would totally throw up his opponent. His opponent's gonna stand back and be like, dude, you're trying to knock me out or fuck me? What's going on? <laughs> and no UFC fighter is ever gonna take that shit to the ground. There is no grown UFC fighter that's gonna wanna be mounted while some dude is singing in his ear, if I was your boyfriend. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I got one more for you. Uh, my mom, uh, I love my mom. She always wanted to be one of those cool moms. So I was gonna be a cool mom. And every now and then though, she would just take it way too far. Like one time I found out she took my younger brother to a Coldplay concert and they went into the bathroom and they did coke at Coldplay. That is a true story, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Who fucking cheers for that? <laughs> I found that out and I went up to my mom and I was like, what are you doing? How can you possibly call yourself a mother? What kind of example are you setting for this family? How can you bring that garbage into our home? Coldplay mom, really? <laughs> All right, guys, my name is Derek Murray. You guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. Mike, thank you. Derek Murray! That's good shit, that's good shit, man.